What's up traders? This is V Trades and today we'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Coinbase Global with the ticker symbol C O I N. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please trade at your own risk. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So Coinbase is selling off, basically falling Bitcoin and you see that I just made a new low of this little downtrend that it started back here in 25th of March from the 281 level. Now we're trading right here at the low 200. So that's quite a bit of a sell off. You can see that price reached the two high 200s and then sold off because it was a measure move target. All this is one leg up right here, dating back till January of 2023 up until December of 2023. That's all one large leg. Price dropped and then that's when the second leg started and that's exactly where price found resistance from. So that was a um, area for traders to take profit. So they took their profits, short sellers entered. And you see that it led to a decent sized sell off, which is represented by this leg right here. Market generally moves in twos, so we saw one sharp impulse, a correction, and then another sharp impulse down right at support at the 217 level. So from here, you know, if the trend was really strong, price should have continued to rally higher. It should have, you know, broken this downtrend and reached the, again, the high 200s and then continue rallying higher. So that's if the trend is really strong. Because after the correction, you expect the trend to resume. But look what happened. The bulls were not able to push up the price that much. It showed signs of weakness. And you see that they basically found resistance off of this prior support level right over here. So this was support, support at the 235 level. Then price came back to it, found resistance. And there was one last push up that failed. And that's basically what's leading to the sell off. So basically, since we had two small legs down, that could mean that we could be forming a larger leg. And that would take price right to this trend line right here at the 160 level. So that's the next possible target for Coinbase as right now. You can see that this trend line does fit pretty good off of the swing lows. So if I connect the two swing lows right here from this swing or this pivot to this pivot and drag it across, that fits right where that measure move target is. So that's not a coincidence at all that you know we have two confluence things or tools that are pointing at the same level. We have the trend line, it looks like where price can fall to, and then a measure move target where price can fall to, and they align at the same area right here at the 160 level. So we do have earnings report coming in a few days. There's a good chance that drop or that earnings report could drop that price where the market is trying to go. Sometimes they will do that. The, the, the market participants who want to move around the price, they will use that earnings report as kind of like a disguise and, and then drop the price where they want the market to go. So don't be shocked to see 160 from the earnings drop. Is it guaranteed? No, it's not. Because this is a breakout and some breakouts can fail. So what that means is that since we're breaking out from a prior support level, which is back over here at the you know low 200s, this could just do a V bottom reversal like that anytime. So it's not guaranteed we continue lower. All I'm saying is that this is the next logical area if the downtrend or if this breakout does succeed. We are below this trend line right here and we are below the shallower trend line right here. So we're below two trend lines. We have a measurement target in play. We have room to the downward uh, trend line. Everything is leaning towards the downside. But again, in the market, nothing's guaranteed. We can always stop right here and then see a V bottom, see a reversal take place. So that's why, you know, it's not a high probability for, you know, to someone to just take a short right now. Well, I'm taking a short right now, thinking it's going to 160, and then it obviously just snaps back and stops them out like that. Because, again, it's not a high probability area. This is only for people who are already in shorts. For example, let's say someone took a short over here, and they hold their profit. They're like, okay, well, I think I can probably squeeze out some more because it looks like it's dropping further. And then, you know, they'll make a decision. But this is not for someone who's like, oh, let me enter right now and thinking we're gonna go lower because it can easily just reverse on you. So again, me personally, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm expecting low prices and there's a good chance that can occur. There's a lot of room to the downside and a lot of these crypto stocks, crypto mining companies, even Bitcoin does look like there's room to the downside. So they all are very correlated and most likely they're gonna continue dropping lower. So that's why I see for Coinbase on the daily chart. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So you see that price definitely got overheated towards the top side, overextended, looked like a little bubble, popped, and we're coming back to that EMA. Eventually, price pulls back to it. Sometimes we break slightly below it. So the EMA is trading right here at the high 190s or the 100s. Uh, so again, looking like for a little bit more downside can occur. Overall, this is still a bull trend. Again, don't be like all scared and thinking this is the top. This is most likely going to continue for higher prices. But it is definitely a pullback, and I see a little bit more downside. I don't think this is a top. I think Bitcoin, uh, Coinbase probably will this cycle 
this year or next year probably take out that prior high at the 428 level. Is it guaranteed? No, it's not. But again, I, I don't think this is a top. Uh, I think the market does want to continue pushing up the price. And wherever we stop, that will basically be the next impulse up. So this, all, this is the previous impulse right here. We are seeing the correction where the second impulse can start from. Let's just predict it stops at 160. Then the next target is at the 415. Like I said before, it's taking it right to the high of the uh, stock price. And that basically aligns perfectly, right? You have this prior impulse, and then we're seeing a drop. And I'm expecting it to drop at the 160 based on the prior size drop in this downtrend. And if it stops there, you move the large move up to where you think it will drop. And that coincides right where prior resistance is. So again, everything kind of lines up very nicely. Uh, it could be a little bit higher. It could be slightly a little bit lower. So give or take, you know, maybe 10 or 20 points. But either way, you get the idea that, you know, wherever this stops can be lead to the next leg up. I'll leave it at 160 for now. And you'll see how that will play out. So that's all I have for Coinbase on the daily and weekly charts. Uh, you know, make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you hit this video subscribe button if you want to see more Coinbase uh, price predictions in the coming weeks and months. So this is so all I have for Coinbase on the daily weekly charts. Most likely I'll give you guys an update next week, Tuesday. This is V Trades, and thank you for your time.